Hello and welcome to my third tech demo. The first thing I worked on was the movement. I made a movement system which is synced with the animation and the direction and the player faces, faces the movement direction and the animations are played respectively. The second was the UI bar panels. In this one, um, the UI displays the player health and mana as well as the enemy's health when targeted. Also, when the enemy targets you, you can see the targets of the, of the targets with the health and mana displayed respectively. The next one was the buff panel. In this one, we can see the buffs would appear on the top side of the screen for the player and also the lower on the target for the enemy and we can also click on these buffs to see what they do we can also click on the players buff and re remove them we can only remove buffs but we can't remove the buffs targeting we can click on ourselves to target ourselves or click on the enemy to target the enemy if the enemy has a target, when we click on the enemy, we will see the targets of the target. Attacking panels. When we click on the enemy, we see the combat UI and also we see the ability UI. If you swipe up, down, left, right, it changes the skill set. Skill 1 and 4 are the ones which I made. 2 and 3 are not made so they would be blank so if you swipe right and swipe down you can be able to use the skill 1 and skill 4 and, it, and when you click on the abilities you can see what they do and you can um, close the topic also there's a timer that shows the duration of the ability and if the ability cannot be used for any reason it's red if we get stunned, it hides. Normal attack. If we move close to an enemy and click the combat button, we do our melee attack. This is with the attack rate and this would just keep doing an auto attack as long as we are in the range of the enemy. If we get stunned, we can't attack so we are just frozen until the stun duration is over. Special attack. When you click on a special attack, you can use your uh, abilities. Uh, my skill set one are direct um, spells, which happens with instant and cooldowns. This set four has setup and also options. So my set four, you can click, you can choose between different um, of the abilities. If you hold on the ability, a tooltip would show the info and you can close it. My set 4 abilities have setup and set up, set up an instant. The judgment is a setup ability that does set up the judgment, but the other three, they would activate the new ability that you click. When you click once, it will show the pop up, when you click again, it will activate. Aggro. When you're in an enemy aggro range, the enemy will start to chase you until they get close to you. When the enemy is in the attack range, then the enemy starts to attack you. Damaging. Every damage is calculated with the critical buffs and each damage is shown in as a pop-up on the screen white damage is the normal Ye yellow is an ability damage and the green is healing and this works quite really really well and this works for both the player and for the enemy when the player dies after three seconds they reset back to the start position and the enemy that killed us 
is fully healed. The player's health and mana is with is restored and also the buffs are removed. My enemy also has a very good AI. Every second attack, he has a 40% chance to use a random ability, which doesn't re re repeat twice. And also, it stacks up if the player, if the enemy doesn't use his ability. And that works very good. I want to show off some of my abilities. In my set 1, I have the Crusader Strike, which is the first ability in the set 1. That deals 140% of the base damage to the enemy. The second ability, which is the Armor of Justice, that ability stuns the enemy for 6 seconds. And here you can see that the enemy is stunned and he can't do anything. The third one does damage and also heals the player depending on the damage done. And the last one deals damage depending on the judgment which you have attached. If you go and change the judgment, you'll see that you do a different judgment um, attack on the enemy, which is pretty good. The other abilities, especially the ones in set 4, deals mostly with changing stats, so I can't really really show them. In conclusion, I would say this tech demo has not been difficult, but it has been very demanding and uh, a bit tedious. Um, for my class, I went for the Paladin class and uh, I had to do 4 skills for the first set. And for the second set, because each skill has 3 types, I had to do 12 skills for the, for the default set. So, um, it was pretty nice and I would say it was quite interesting to uh, do it and um, I had a lot of fun. And I also learned a lot of things because I, I made a very modular system which I can make any ability I want, any buff I want and I was using um, delegates, actions, event, funks and it was really good to use all that. Um, it also has a lot of stats and uh, balancing and uh, calculations which um, I've had a, bit, a, a little bit of experience in but I was able to you know, use those skills and improve those skills as well. So yeah, this was a successful tech demo to me. Um, I didn't really have more time to do the actual things because it was already um, um, like loaded with good stuff. So yeah, nice, nice, um, nice challenge. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the next one and I can't wait to see the unreal one. So thank you and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.